All right, guys. So let's get started. Um, first of all, um, <laughs> uh, my name is Leslie Victory, and I'm the food and drink editor and managing editor of EverythingJerseyCity.com. So a lot of people think that Everything Jersey City is just an Instagram page, but we are actually a .com. We are a website. Uh, we uh, put up articles all the time about Jersey City. And um, Everything Jersey City is all about showing the goodness of Jersey City um, and highlighting the amazing people that we have in this city who make a difference, who step out of what maybe the norm is and um, do great things for their community. We want to highlight the people that maybe don't get mainstream media attention and give them that um, platform to um, share the good things that they're doing. So everything Jersey City is all about positivity. It's all about shining a light on Jersey City. And um, yeah, so if you're not already um, subscribed to everythingjerseycity.com, we send out weekly e-blasts that talk about articles and things going on in Jersey City. So yeah, that is definitely something you can look into. And now I'm going to pass it over to Alessia. Yay. <laughs> Thanks, Leslie. Thanks for having me. Um, so I own Beyond the Plate Food Tours. <laughs> um, I've been running food tours, though, for six years. I have over 65 restaurant partners, so they are the lifeline of my business. And to see them suffering and the fact that, I mean, I can't operate, obviously, right now. So nothing coming in. Um, so it's uh, it's been incredible, like, getting some of my partners are some of my best friends. And I want to see them make it through this. So um, love you all. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. And, um, and yeah, so we want to talk about how the restaurant and food and drink industry is really going to be affected at the end of this. It's getting affected. It's affected now, but it's really going to be a different world when we come out of this. And we want to try and figure out ways and, you know, kind of tell you and educate you guys on ways that you can help your local restaurant community, um, especially Jersey City, obviously. Um, so first of all, social distancing. The only way to slow the spread of this virus is to isolate yourself, to um, be in your home. We're, we're doing online videos right now because we're socially distancing. And the only way to slow the spread of this virus is to take that sacrifice upon yourself and socially distance yourself from other people. So we hope that everyone is doing that. Please. We know how hard it is. I'm like the most social person in the world, but Me too. Can do it. you can do it. Anyone can do it. <laughs> That's what I keep saying. I was like, if I can socially distance myself, then anyone can do it. So please, yeah. please, please. Definitely. Yay, Luna. I'm so great. Oh, that's so fantastic. Luna says that every day has been busier and last night was really good and the community has been great. I love hearing that. It means that people are getting the message that they need to be supporting local businesses right now. If you are healthy, um, if you are not sick, there's no reason to not go out into the community and support local businesses um, 100%. So, um, so we don't we will be talking primarily about the restaurant and the food and drink industry right now, but Alessia, obviously we want to support all local business. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we want to see everyone come out on the other end. Right. Um, so we all came to Jersey city for a reason. We love it here. We want to see the businesses that we love on the other side. So that's exactly why um, if you have the means right now, um, as in your job was not affected um, by by COVID-19, then you have spending power, then, you know, buy a certificate and and it'll be something really nice to look forward to at the end of it. So um, whether it's a local shop, a local restaurant, whatever it is, um, you know, if you have the means, then no reason why you shouldn't support them still. Absolutely. And, you know, like I said, we are talking about the restaurant industry for primarily in this, but um, a big part is just shopping local, supporting those local businesses that are here in Jersey City, the mom and pop shops, people who open businesses on their own. I mean, it's a huge undertaking. The stress on, the, on their shoulders is enormous. 
and something like this can be absolutely crippling for them. Um, I mentioned it earlier, my parents own a small restaurant in Bergen County and um, seeing what they're going through right now is pretty devastating. It's really hard to watch and that is a huge reason why I believe that it is really important to educate people on how they can support their local businesses and the restaurant industry because it is really hard to see a parent go through the financial strain of what this pandemic is doing, especially in the food and drink or beverage um, and restaurant industry. So um, yeah, I hope the things that we talk about today quickly um, will be helpful to you and that you take those things and run with them <laughs> and share them. And I love that all the restaurants are posting um, their like schedules, their discounts. Thank you. Um, yes, everybody look in the comments. So yeah, like Busy Bee, Butter Cake, uh, Worst Bar, Luna. Um, so so this is great. And, and Wesley, you said that Everything Jersey City is going to have an article too, right? Yes. So yeah. Everything Jersey City is coming. We are working on an article right now. Um, and we are gathering information on the GoFundMe pages, the places um, that you can donate to, um, and things that you can do in Jersey City. Um, it'll probably be out on Monday or Tuesday. So please stay tuned for that. Um, restaurant owners, if you um, have a GoFundMe page or a way that we can help um, or anything like that, please send a DM to Everything Jersey City so we can know what is going on and add it in the article that we're coming out with next week um, to let people know where they can go and where they can donate. Um, so obviously eating local is really important. Um, so Alessia, I know we were talking about that earlier, so you can just kind of talk a little more about why eating local is so important in Jersey City. Yeah, just like I said before, um, we just want to you know, like our targets, Walmarts, they don't need our help right now. They're going to survive no matter what. So, um, you know, I know like people going crazy over toilet paper, but, um, what is that? I don't know. And I needed toilet paper last week too. And I was like, great. I can't, no, I got you. I got you. <laughs> but, um, you know, we, unless you, you know, some people may not know op restaurants already operate on a shoestring budget. Um, there isn't much room for error. Um, and you know, when we talk about delivery and, and stuff like that, these companies take huge cuts. Um, you know, I know we're going to talk about that next is, um, if you can, if the restaurants offer it, call them directly, um, and order in bulk. So thank you, Michelle, for that, um, tip. Yeah. You know, if you can I didn't order for the week. Think about that. Yeah. Um, good point. Um, yeah. So. Obviously, eating local is really important, and one of the biggest ways that people can support their local restaurants right now is ordering takeout and delivery. And there are Uber Eats is available, Grubhub is available. If you can order directly from the restaurant, that's even better because then the restaurant is getting all of the money, and they're not having to pay a percentage to any of the um, platforms, the ordering platforms. So if you can order directly from the restaurant, that's obviously going to be the best way that you can support um, the restaurant. Um, if they are only taking Grubhub and Uber Eats, then obviously order from them. But takeout and delivery is really important. And like Alessia said, um, obviously, a lot of these restaurants, they have to, they have groceries, they have full refrigerators, right? Like, yeah. Um, and my friend made a good point too. Like if you're gonna, you know, if you're thinking about delivery or takeout versus like cooking at home, like I would probably do takeout delivery now because we don't know if some of these restaurants will be ordered to close anytime soon. So you might as well, before you have no choice but to like eat at home, you might as well do that now. Um, yeah, that's get your awesome. favorite spots, you know, in there. Like, I know places like Gringo's, Ani, you know, um, like Gringo's, like the chef messaged me the other day and said, hey, I have a ton of stuff that's going to go bad. Do you want to come pick some up? The rest is being donated. So some places are closed. The ones that remain open, it's great that we have um, resources like Everything Jersey City, other bloggers that can um, get the word out about who's open, who's not, who's delivering um, and doing it in a sanitary way. So um let's let's like really push that now before we can't you know who knows 
Absolutely. And I think um, you made a really great point about we don't know when restaurants are going to have to shut down. So the fact that um, the fact that we don't know that we need to order now. And also, like Michelle said at Busy Bee, order multiple things. You know, these things you can keep in your refrigerator. Order multiple things, not just one item that you want to eat for lunch, but order a couple of things. So that way, delivery drivers only have to go out once and have minimal interaction with people. And you can have a stocked refrigerator full of delicious food from local Jersey City businesses. Um, so, yeah, that's a great point. Thank you. I love that. Yeah, Michelle just posted... Delivering to immune supportive options as well. There's an apothecary section, small grocery section from her farmers, as well as fully prepared meals. But a cake is offering 40% off. Uh, Pasta del Quarry open Tuesday through Sunday. All fresh pasta counter uh, on post. Love Pasta del Quarry. Got some fresh pasta, guys. 22 bucks, guys. Three course yeah. meals. It's amazing. And also um, this comment here, like remember chains like Popeye's, Taco Bell, et cetera, are um, locally owned franchise business owners, 100%. Like I'm all about a Popeye's chicken sandwich. I'm sorry guys, but I, but I am. <laughs> um, all right, so moving on, another way, another really fantastic way that you can support these local businesses here in Jersey City, these restaurants is, and also this, is if you have the means to do so. If you are, if you are here in quarantine and you have the financial means, um, or you are lucky enough to have an income that has not been affected by this pandemic, then please spread the wealth. GoFundMe pages are up, like we talked about earlier, um, to help support restaurants and help support restaurant staff. Um, you can buy gift cards online. You don't even need to leave your house to buy a gift card online from a restaurant and use it at a future date. Um, Mother's Day is coming up. Father's Day. Easter is right around the corner. These are ways that you can support the local businesses um, from your couch. You do yeah. not have to leave. Um, it's really important that um, I'm not asking anyone to spend money that they don't have, but if you have that money, then this is going to give these businesses some immediate income that they desperately need right now. Um, and if you have no money, um, or if you know right now is not a time for you to be spending a lot of money, these are free ways that you can help that literally just take seconds. Like a place that you like to go. If you go to a restaurant all the time, like their business, um, on Instagram and Facebook and follow them. And most importantly, write them reviews, yeah, uh, write, write yeah. reviews on Yelp, uh, Yelp, Google, cool. everything Jersey City also <laughs> has a business directory where you can write reviews on there as well. And the thing that a lot of people don't realize is that restaurant reviews helps restaurant SEO value. So if you are liking a restaurant, if you or a bar or a catering company or a food truck, repost for but a cake repost for them talk about them um you know all of these things that you can do that are absolutely free that only take time that you have now since you're at home do these things i think that's really really important so that way when the dust settles and this is all over they will be in a on a better platform on a better footing than they were when this started so at least it's not going to make everything okay, but at least they'll have more followers and more people that know about them. So when this is all over and the dust settles, please help them. Yeah. Please, they will have that. That's for like, for me, especially like without reviews, like once I started getting reviews for my business, people started booking and like, you know, it's, it's a much more niche thing than a restaurant, but people want to see what people have to say. Right. So, um, yeah. The reviews are such a crucial thing and I know that for, like since I can't run tours right now writing reviews because it's free to everyone who's taken my tour and had a great time is going to be like the number one thing I want to do so I can leverage those reviews yeah. so share the reviews. I've been on one of your tours and they're fantastic so you guys go to <laughs> Alessia's website and buy a gift certificate for her food tours because they are so much fun and you get to try all these different meals within one night and you get to talk to a lot of different restaurant owners and it's just such a great experience so i definitely think that you guys want to uh, check out beyond the plate food tours little for my girl 
Awesome, thank you. And yeah. I just, and talking about, uh, just like looking at these comments, dog walkers, all other local businesses affected too. Mm -hmm. So definitely if you can afford to, pay and support your walker. Yes, uh, absolutely. Um, and then I also saw, um, also giving a good rating on Grubhub, Uber Eats, things like that. That's going to be really crucial right now. Probably even more crucial, crucial than Google and Yelp right now because everyone is ordering food online. So they're looking at the ratings more on Grubhub and Uber Eats than they are looking at Yelp and Google right now. So help the places, take a minute, think about the places that you frequent and write a couple of reviews about them. That is going to be a crucial thing right now. Um, one other thing, so Midnight Market is doing something really cool. Um, so talking about supporting local businesses. So obviously they can't operate their awesome market, their uh, Midnight Market. So they doing every Friday, um, like a virtual hangout essentially with three featured DJs and then specials from some um, local restaurants that, for takeout delivery. So if you're a restaurant following and you want to be featured next Friday, hit them up, Midnight Market Events. Um, they started here in Jersey City. They both live here in Jersey City, uh, women-owned business. So um, I think that's a great way to support local businesses, too. So um, I love that. I think we need to get a little more creative, too. Oh, <laughs> Look at this little mugget. So cute. I know. Um, um, so I think another thing that I that I just quickly, quickly want to say is that a lot of us moved to Jersey City because we love the culture here. We love the people here and we love the restaurants. We have amazing um, chefs and restaurants that are doing phenomenal things. We are so lucky and so blessed to live in a town that has such a great food culture. And if that's the reason why you moved here, then like we need to step up to the plate and make sure that that culture, that thing that we moved here to like love so much is still here when the dust settles and, and we come out of this. So if you moved here, if you are a foodie, if you love eating, if you love eating out, if you love dining experiences, do things now so that that culture is still here, you know, a month from now, a week from now, things like that. Um, yeah, so I think that's really important. So, yay. Um, so, what else do I talk about? Ah, so, ah. So, another thing that I think is important is there are a lot of places out there that are mom and pop places that are not social media savvy. They don't have uh, social media, they don't even know what a live stream feed is. Um, they have. Um, been going on word of mouth and they're old school and you know their their food and drinks and and their business is fantastic but they're just not you know savvy to social media platforms those are the places that most certainly almost almost most certainly will not survive this um so it's really important for you to think about those places that you don't just see while you're scrolling on your phone like take a mental snapshot of your neighborhood Take a walk through your brain in your neighborhood and think of the places that are around that you pop into that you may not even realize that they need help right now, probably more, more than anyone. So I think it's really important to remember, you know, not just the places on Instagram and Facebook, but, um, you know, check out those mom and pop places and help support them as well. Um, Definitely. Like one of my partners in Somerville, he's Egyptian and like doesn't know anything about social media and he called yeah. and he was like like what can I do who do I talk to so you know if if you're home and you know like maybe you have a social media business or have some extra time and can help some that, people who don't know how to use social like you know bless them out help them out you know like they don't they're they're scared <laughs> they're really scared so um I think that's important yeah too. I think I 100% agree with that, 100%. And on that note, uh, restaurant owners, restaurant industry people, food and beverage industry people work tirelessly. They work crazy hours that, you, that are unimaginable. And right now, things are slow. And they, a lot of them are sitting at either at home or trying to do things in 
takeout and delivery right now. And so just a message of support to them, I feel is really important as well. Um, saying something to them to let them know you're thinking about them, writing them on Instagram or Facebook, writing reviews, letting them know that they are supported by their community is really important. And um, again, is free, takes just a few minutes of your time, which we all have a plethora of right now. Um, and it's really important. So I think, um, yeah, so if we can send messages of support, that's always a good way to go about lifting people up too, because we're all about positivity. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, let's see. Um, oh, uh, you wanted, you were talking to me this morning, Alessia, about um, writing Congress people. Yeah, so shout out to Chef Ryan, Kitchen Step. Um, another reason why it's so important to follow some of these restaurants is that like we're all eagerly trying to find resources of how like funding anything that can get us through this. So, you know, obviously with, with um, employees being let off or, you know, restaurants just trying to figure out a way what they're going to do with their employees, payroll, all that. Um, I think we're all working together to figure out how we can get that support. Um, so a couple of examples. So before even talking about the senators, so I know Matthews, I know Porter, I know Kitchen Step, a ton of local businesses do have GoFundMe pages that some of the employees started. Um, you know, like we all talk about how many followers we have, right? So even if you donated a dollar, like multiply that by the number of followers these accounts have, it makes a difference. So, um, so check out and see if some of the places that you love have these GoFundMe pages. Um, but then I saw that Ryan, Chef Ryan at Kitchen Step Patello posted about contacting your congressmen and senators directly. So guys, it's not political. This doesn't matter like what side you're on. These are the people that are gonna get us the funding. So in case you didn't know, our representatives, Albio Serres, and our, our uh, congressman, are Bob Menendez and Cory Booker. Um, I can type it in here of how you can contact them directly and tell them that small businesses need funding now. The crucial thing to know and to understand is that basically um, we, you're doing, if you're not affected, right, the whole point is that you're, you're reaching out to them on behalf of us the small businesses that have never seen anything like this before that have no other way to make income um, at least not traditionally um, so we need your help to reach out to these people and say we need support we need funding we need emergency relief to get us through this point so again bob menendez cory booker albio Sierras, you can contact them directly just google them and their contacts will come up um, there's tons of petitions that a lot of these restaurants are sharing too. So again, I know Brian has posted, Ani Raman has posted, um, uh, follow Heirloom Kitchen. I know they're in Old Bridge, but like they're doing a pretty good job at posting stuff like that too. Um, and USBG and RWCF, they're also relief funds that can um, help employees in the restaurant service industry. So lots of resources out there whether you're a restaurant owner, an employee, um, we all have to support each other and kind of go out on a limb for people that don't have what, you know, funds coming in right now. So, um, but a cake, you know, just said we make two to $3, um, an hour. Um, and that's what unemployment will give them. So that's obviously nothing. So every single penny, it's true. Oh no, Leslie. I got it. I okay. got it. <laughs> I got it. It's okay. Um, I know that's a lot, but it's uh, mm -hmm. it makes a difference. I'm back. <laughs> um, so kind of in closing, I think the thing that we really need to remember is that people come together at tables, and um, whether that's your kitchen table, whether that is your restaurant table, um, we really need to remember that relationships start at tables, you know, congregating together is human interaction is so key and important. Right now, we're all isolated, hopefully. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, doing what we can to stop the spread of this virus. 
Um, and again, it's just really important that we make sure that we're supporting the people to make sure these restaurants are here when we come out of this on the other side. Um, you know, I was reading something the other day that when 9-11 happened and the dust settled from that um, and people were emotionally hurt, physically hurt, um, we came around tables. Restaurant, the restaurant industry was there to bring people back together, to give hope to people. And right now, this is a completely new situation where we're all going through something, but that key element of humanity, um, togetherness, and gathering around a table and congregating is not an option for us. So we need to like be strong right now and do whatever we can to make sure we stop the spread of this virus and also do whatever we can to make sure that when we're done here, when we get released, <laughs> There are tables for us to congregate around and we support those restaurant owners now. Yep. Yep. Yeah, bye. Does anybody have anything else to say or um, specials that they have going on or anything they want to add or anything that they think that we missed? Like, please, please, please let us know. I'm, I'm not saying I'm an expert. I just want to bring awareness to a situation. So please, please like, let us know if there's something that you think still needs to be said. Yeah, and I'll, I'll start. So I have a really great promotion going on right now. So anyone who ever thought about doing a food tour, please, if you have, like Leslie said, any birthdays, any uh, celebrations, any corporate outing that you could think of in the future to put a down payment on now, buy a gift certificate. I'm doing 20% off all gift certificates, no expiration date. And when you buy a gift certificate, you get some fun swag. I have bags, I have coasters, I have mints, I have toothpicks. I have lots of fun stuff. And the code is come together, all caps, beyond the plate food tours com. 20% off. Um, and uh, Butter Cake said, I wish there was one Jersey City support fund instead of every restaurant for themselves. Yeah, I know. Um, I think that's I think that's something that everyone wishes for that they weren't that they weren't alone in this situation that it wasn't every man for themselves right now and yes it would be great if there was something where you know there was one fund for everyone but that's not how it is unfortunately and I just hope that we can take the time here today to get that information out um, if you do have a GoFundMe, please message Everything Jersey City and let us know what's going on and how we can help and support. Tag us in everything that we can. We will always share it for you. Adia is on top of it. Luna said, if anyone's coming in for brunch, we'll give you a free mimosa while you wait. Uh, Busy Bee has a freezer pantry section on the site with discounted items that come frozen will last longer in the freezer. Yes, I um, love, yeah, I have definitely, I've gotten like the Busy Bee organic soup the mushroom the mushroom soup it's amazing it comes frozen so you can keep it for a really long time it's so fantastic that's definitely a great option um luna see you in like 30 minutes i know right <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> um so if anyone just to recap right like anyone who joined in later we talked about the the paid things you could do. So buy a gift certificate. There's lots of good deals. For example, Sushi by Boo. I think it's like buy one, get one, essentially. Um, that's a great example. Uh, takeout delivery, like, like uh, Pasta Del Corre posted, has some really great deals. Um, free stuff, write reviews, like, share, comment, um, just so we can all come out on the other side in a better uh, socially positioned place. And yeah. then message your representatives. Now is the time. You have a voice. They will listen. And they represent us. That's why they'll call representatives. So um, Bob Menendez, Cory Booker, Albio Serres, um, hit them up. <laughs> yeah, ab absolutely. You know, like, share, like we talked about, if you're just joining, it's really important that if you have the time, write a review about the restaurants and bars. The you all have time. <laughs> you, everybody has time. Oh, I regal. We want to hear some of your Jamaican. I just learned for themselves. Yeah. I love you. Yay. Yes, this is why this 
is a way we are supporting each other, not just one man or themselves. So I keep telling people, like, look beyond your nose. Like, look around and see what is going on around you. See the people that are need help. And you know what? While we're talking about it, guys, stop buying so much toilet paper. You're going to be okay. <laughs> stop buying so much toilet paper. You're going to be okay. It's going to be fine. Um, and oh, Seriously. Oh, uh, another thing that really doesn't have anything to do with the, with the restaurant industry. But guys, if you have a neighbor that is a senior who is an elder, take care of them. Even if you have never talked to them ever, check in on them, see if they're okay. Knock on the door, walk back 10 feet and ask them, <laughs> do you need groceries? If you see a senior in a, in a grocery store parking lot, t six feet away, do you need me to get you stuff? Wait in your car and then pop your trunk open. These are things that people can do to help seniors because they are the ones that are so vulnerable right now. People with compromised immune systems, it's so, so, so important for you to see what is going on around you and not just worry about your individual self. If you are a healthy person, a healthy, active young person, then the biggest thing that you can do right now is help the people who cannot help themselves or put their, their lives at risk by trying to help themselves. Look beyond look beyond your nose, <laughs> see what's going on, step out of your comfort zone and help people in and around your name. It is imperative. Okay, I'm gonna get off that soapbox now. <laughs> I wanna take a screenshot of this, but I don't, I can't. <laughs> All right, any Adia, follow? if you're watching, please take a screenshot for us. <laughs> yes. Spare a spare a square. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Other fun, right. interesting, um, cute things. Anyone else wants to share before we go? Who wants Billy McLee, you look young and healthy. We're not getting your groceries. You need some more gray hair. <laughs> Wait, do you have a compromised immune system? Then I take that back. Sam. Nicole. I did already at the beginning. Uh... Um, all right, guys. So I think we're good. Unless you want to post um, in the comments places that you recommend people going to eat so you can share it with other people. We're kind of wrapped up here. Any, anybody have any questions for me or Alessia? Because otherwise, I think we're good. <laughs> thank you all for joining us this is my first yeah. live i think i've only gone live once ever and this is definitely the first time i've gone live with someone else <laughs> i have never gone live on purpose i have always accidentally gone live <laughs> and never gone live on purpose um bless sam says name. bless an emergency worker by ordering a dinner to their door this supports the restaurants and tells our emergency workers we appreciate them. Aww. Absolutely. That's a good idea. <laughs> Thank you, Allie. <laughs> um, I have a sister-in-law who's a nurse and, you know, I see a lot of things happening here in Jersey City that uh, emergency workers are getting free coffees and free meals and I think that's really fantastic and um, we really appreciate um, I just love and appreciate the businesses here in Jersey City who are doing that for people. So shout out to Natalie, my sister-in-law, who is a nurse, and she's like in the trenches. She's, you know, while we're all quarantined at home, she's saying goodbye to her family and going to the hospital and taking care of people. And I mean, I, I, I tear up thinking about how brave and like commendable that is. So thank you, Natalie, and all of the emergency um, workers that are out and essential workers that are not quarantined in their house. So thank you. Yeah. Um, someone asked how do restaurants join beyond the plate? So all of our tours in Jersey, we don't have a vehicle. Everything is walking distance. So um, if you're a restaurant. Cardio and food. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, if you're a restaurant, just, just message me. Um, we do. We do randomly sometimes get people who have vehicles that we can use to go outside of downtown, but right now they're focused in downtown Jersey City. Um, so feel free to email me info at Beyond the Plate Food Tours, though, um, and tell me about your business because I love restaurants and eating out and trying new food. So 
Um, thank you. Adia, who's going to buy a gift certificate? Yay! Delectable proof food tours. Woo! Yes. Travel, traveling soon. We're all going to support the tourism economy. That's pretty much crumbling to the ground right now. We're going to, we're going to survive. We're going to make it. Let's do it. Let's all do it. And take this time, FaceTime your family and friends that you haven't seen in a while. Make sure you talk to them. Um, I bought my grandparents one of those Facebook portals and I think now they wish that I hadn't because I call them way too much. So, um, but I can help it. And I think it's, you know, our elderly have to stay inside right now. And it's really important that we don't make them feel isolated because it can be a really isolating experience, especially when you're not technologically savvy. So yeah, it's really important. All right, guys. So if you don't have anything else to say, I think we're good. And if this is something that you think, um, you know, we should do more often, let us know. Again, please go to everythingjerseycity.com and beyondthefoodplatetours.com. Beyondtheplatefoodtours.com. Beyondtheplatefoodtours.com. Um, we have a business directory on Everything Jersey City where you, um, if you are a business owner, you may have already have a business directory on there. All you have to do is claim it. Um, and um, if you want to write a review, that would be fantastic. Again, writing reviews helps the SEO value of restaurants. Um, so writing those re reviews are imperative. So if you can't go to a restaurant, if you um, don't have the means to go out there and buy gift cards left and right, then write reviews, like, share. And um, one more thing that you can do that's absolutely free is talk. Tell people the places that are open, the places that you like to eat, the places ordering, take out and delivery. Encourage your friends to do the same thing you are doing. Yay. Yay. Yeah. We're going to make it, guys. Love right. you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Alessia, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>